Yo, before we get into today's video, if you're watching this video and you always wish you could be a high overall, but you really don't got a free time to grind and get it, you can hit up my boy Sports TMB on Twitter. His link will be in the description. He now selling stacked NBA 2K19 accounts, high overalls, max badges, and more, bro. All you gotta do is hit him up on Twitter, and my link will be in the description as well. You can hit me up on Twitter. And I can make the process faster, make him respond to you faster. But just remember when you DM him, just say that LaMonster sent you. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. What's good here? It's your boy LaMonster here with another video. Today I'm giving you guys an in-depth tutorial on unlocking the hardest badge in the game, bro, which is Alpha Dog. A must-have badge. And not only is it the hardest, it's one of the best badges because you get plus five on all your attributes when one of your teammates get cold now step one of this tutorial as you guys can see i'm in the my minutes category basically what you want to do to sum it up even if you don't want to watch this or you want to skip this basically put all your good players on the bench give them zero minutes you see i got kevin durant on reserve that means he can't get in period all your centers sub out every center bro now look to get alpha dog on the center it's actually easier but you still can follow this this is mainly for guards but it's every archetype any archetype can unlock alpha dog with this tutorial that i'm dropping but like i said so for all archetypes put in put your shortest player at center put yourself at small forward and just put a bunch of guards in like i said give them all the minutes give all the centers zero minutes bro zero minutes now like i was saying with alpha dog what it does is plus five to your attributes including shooting including rebounding now if you want to actually think about how overpowered this badge is think about all right like i was saying with a pure sharp let's say for example a pure sharp has a 95 three and their teammate get cold so that's plus five that's a 99 three now when their teammate is cold plus the boost from the newsstand that's another plus five plus your if they activate takeover that's a whole plus 10 so you're looking at at least 110 plus points on that attribute alone but it's it's all attributes it's plus five on all attributes so you basically become a demigod if you unlock alpha dog and one of your teammates get cold remember you don't get the plus five unless one of your teammates get cold all right so now let me jump into the tutorial i basically got the full gameplay on how you get progression to your alpha dog and how easy it is to unlock it bro. i got the fastest way so let's jump right into it you see i'm going right into a game all right so i don't know like where eventually i'm gonna chop this up but i don't know where like i don't want to skip nothing so y'all can actually see as far as the gameplay what i'm doing so you see i came straight in the game i still call my half court trap defense so i got half court trap on offense i'm still calling iso it's looking like i'm doing my my method but i'm really not though but um basically what you want to do on offense if you're going to score like don't shoot unless you know you're gonna make the shot because if you shoot and miss you're gonna give your team a chance to get a rebound bro now all you gotta do to unlock this badge is lead your team in each category in five categories you gotta lead the team so that's points that's rebounds that's blocking steals hold up did i say five points rebounding blocks steals and wait what's the next last what's another category oh assist 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 all right so in the beginning you see i'm just scoring bro now on defense just pay attention to how i play defense bro like look i basically want that player to shoot because it's a high chance that he missed on pro by the way oh i almost forgot to tell y'all put it on pro that's the difficulty pro is the difficulty so step one after you already then subbed out a player subbed out your digit minutes and got all bums in put it on pro it's the easiest way to get it because you can dominate on offense and defense had to say that but basically half court trap y'all know that does the double team you feel me like that so they're gonna double team but i really don't care if they score right now i'm just naturally playing defense i'm trying to skip well i'm not trying to skip but i'm just trying to let y'all see like i ain't do nothing special right now they scoring it's cool it's cool um what topics can i touch on so i said yeah so you gotta lead in five categories like i said points right now i'm scoring assist which is very easy for any archetype now the hardest part for players that are not centers is getting rebounds but all you got to do is sub out all of the centers and you're going to get boards which is the good part now you see right there how i'm baiting the computer to basically leave them open and it leads me to getting a block that's basically what you do with half court trap you kind of call the trap and just drop back and let the plays unfold let them double team 
and then try to pick up on the person who you know they going past to you see how i got that easy block so look i'm already leading in points and now i'm leading in blocks if i was to press start and go look at the stats for my whole team nobody on my team got a block yet and nobody on my team scores yet and my game just skipped Shout out to PlayStation Network. I mean, shout out to Sony on the record. Got my joint jumping. But anyway, I'm still just scoring. I got takeover. Now, this is another category where you can manipulate. Get in your takeover. All right, so I'm about to go to my game stats and look. If I look at my game stats, you see so far, only got blocks uh, and points, basically. And my teammates ain't really leading on nothing. So that's where you can check it on a box score to know if you're actually doing it right, bro. Eventually, I got to get to a point where I... Eventually, I got to get to a point where I skip, bro. I don't know yet. I just don't want to miss no key points. So you guys be like, well, wait, how did you get assists? Or wait, how did you get fucking blocks? Or how did you get whatever? So you see, I activated takeover. I just missed that shot. So I heard them activate takeover. Now, I'm going to start skipping after this takeover. But let me, all right, I got takeover activated. So obviously, takeover not going to let me miss a shot, which is good. Well, a less likely chance for me to miss a shot. Still ISO. Feel me? About to do a rhythm dribble. About to do the same cooks on his on his guard, guarding me until I get open, and then I'm eventually I'ma just pull it. Pass to yo, gave yo the green. So that's my assist. I got an assist. That's my first assist of the game. You see how easy it is. And with takeover, y'all know you can make your teammate shoot with team takeover. You can literally just make them shoot. So look, go back to the category, leading in all the categories. All I need now is like a steal. I'm already leading, bro. All right, now let's, let's get some skips, bro. Now, I noticed I made a mistake. I basically didn't sub out one of my centers. You see he in the game, but I gave him the ball, and I got another assist. So that's my second assist. You see I'm leading in points. But what I'm going to do is, basically, with this team takeover, since I made a mistake, you guys won't make the mistake. Because I'm telling you, I already told you all to give all centers uh, zero minutes, and you feel me? You putting them on the bench, they never getting in. But you see my one center is in, which is cool. He a bum, but I'm going to make sure I make every shot so he never get a board. So yeah, my mind's gonna be actually a little harder because I made that mistake. But remember, I can control him right now with this team takeover, so I don't gotta worry about it. Plus, he a bum. He just tall. He's 6'11, which is cool. But I'm gonna manipulate to a point where I make sure, you feel me, he don't get no boards. So I'm gonna let y'all see one more offensive possession. So you can see he not getting no rebounds, bro. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, dribbling. I wanna make this video shorter than this, bro. Like, jeez. This man guarded me like crazy. I did a fadeaway shot and actually made it. That's risky, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Just go ahead and go for an assist, bro. Just go ahead and go for assist. All right, so I'm on my player right now. We double teaming. We triple teaming. And that is my steal. I'm glad I didn't skip anything. Y'all see how I earned my steal? Off the half-court trap, I'm still holding L1 the whole time to double team. And while my team was double teaming, I actually went and reached. So that's an easy way to get your steal. All right, so we already, all right, look, that's the end of the first quarter. I'm going to try to chop to certain parts. So right now, if I press start, you'll see that I'm leading in every category currently. All right, so as you guys can see on the start, on the box score, you see I'm leading in every category. I got more rebounds. I got more steals than my whole team, and I got more blocks, and I got more assists and points. So I'm leading in all five categories. Those are the categories. You see that easy steal right there as well? Look, that's another way you can get steals by playing half-court trap. And like, like I said, you basically can bait the open man. You see how my team is double teaming, but I'm controlling my player at the center position. Look, easy boards is on pro. That's how you're going to get your boards, bro. Calling the half court trap, making your team double team. And then you basically pretty much playing the center position to a, to a certain extent. If you get what I'm saying? Like, so to get rebound, I'm going to touch before I really skip all the way to the end. I'm going to touch every category real quick. So points. For every guard, for every sin, it don't matter what archetype. For every archetype, I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't tell y'all how to score. Y'all know y'all can lead y'all team in scoring. Everybody does that. It's my career. You can ball hog. So, for points, just score. Easy bucket. Next category, rebounding. If you're a guard, like I said, call half-court trap and, like, pretty much bait and leave certain people open and let them shoot. And make sure you box out and just get the automatic rebound, bro. You're going to horse your team, bro. Unless you make a mistake and put a center in like I did, but I'm still going to horse because, look, easy block. There go a perfect example for gaining a block. We're going to go look at how many blocks I got. Now I got two blocks, two steals. So that's how you do for rebounding. 
basically like either let the computer shoot or beat them like contest their layup or something like that they're gonna miss next category still you can get steals off the fast break you can get steals off of like y'all see y'all see the examples of how i got steals but you can either go on the double team and press square while they getting double teamed like it's a lot of ways you can get steals bro y'all see how i got my two steals so y'all should be gucci on steals um assist every archetype should know how to get assist just you feel me play offense play play team basketball and just pass to your teammate let them score don't just pass to the same teammate letting him gain more points than you of course but just keep passing to different teammates to get your assist up that's easy uh then what's the last category we talked about steals then the blocks you saw y'all just seen how i got a block basically that same thing with rebounding basically that beat idea on defense of look let me just see what i do on this play so y'all see I'm, I'm on my player they're double teaming i go in i crash boards whoever catch it look i want to let him shoot look crash boards rebound so with that type of defensive play style that i'm doing you either gonna get a rebound out of that a steal out of that or a block out of that bro it's pretty much easy but i'm like i said i'm gonna try to skip because i really don't want this video to be dumb long but i had to give y'all all examples of each category so you won't be asking so many questions in the comment section all right so now the craziest most riskiest thing i've done with my alpha dog bass tutorial is simulate at halftime that is about to be the different thing that you can do by the way it's five minute quarters of course in pro and so y'all cool on all that five minute quarters pro and then we here bro so we at halftime basically i'm about to sim now i ain't gonna lie to y'all the only reason why i sim this game was to go play rec center but also to take the risk and see like all right since i'm already leading in every category what happens if i sim at halftime for people who bored and don't want to just sit there and just you know uh like not play the whole game you bored or whatever just sim at halftime basically but i do believe if you play this full game you will get more points towards your alpha badge than i got so i would recommend playing the whole whole game if you want to speed the process up but i mean either way i'm gaining points on it regardless by simming at half it's just something it's just your option it's all preference so you see right there i'm simming at half i'm leading in every all five categories and i'm just about to let y'all see the ending before i end this video so i hope you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna show you what it looked like when you actually get progression no i didn't unlock it on this video but as you can see i know how to manipulate and i can actually unlock it whenever i want but and the last thing to end the video before i end the video i do need to say this you need alpha dog in order to hit 98 overall you won't be able to hit 98 overall because i know y'all gonna get all the other personality badges all your regular badges but you actually need alpha dog to hit 98 so i'm not really worrying about me unlocking it just right now until i'm close to that point where i need it because you see how easy it is for me to manipulate and just get it but that's pretty much it bro i hope you guys enjoyed this this tutorial I uh, hope this video wasn't too long, but I had to explain very in-depth so people won't be confused. But that's pretty much it. If there's any confusion, I'm trying to really sit here and think. What would somebody comment right now that they confused about? Well, bro, I'm only six foot or I'm a center. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, all right, I showed y'all how it's going to be for guards. You see what's going to happen. You're going to win in every category. That's easy. For somebody who a center... You shouldn't even have to do all this if you're a center because you can automatically get boards, but as center, just put all the guards in. I'm trying to think. I really can't think of anything of why everything I explained already isn't, you feel me, easy enough for y'all to just get it. Just make sure. You do the my minutes, sub. Oh, I know what people are going to say in the comment section. What if I can't control my minutes? Well, if you can't control your minutes, either you can wait till you get to that point if you can't follow these steps without the my minutes like if you do this without doing the my minutes and it don't work for you because them centers are still in the game and you can't control what position you is you can just wait bro just wait until you get it how to start controlling your minutes i literally have no idea like it's broken you're supposed to become like the franchise player but i would say just play for a bum ass team and just start going ham consecutively without simulating bro and eventually you'll be able to control your minutes for now so i know that is gonna be a question that's the only thing i can say for people who got that question bro um and then i think that should be the only question possibly but that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and we out of here yeah.